My name is Matt Hutchings. I'm Professor of Molecular Microbiology at the University of East Anglia in Norwich. This is a colony of leafcutter ants collected in Panama. These ants live in the rainforests, but they can't eat plants. So instead they cut plant material, so they cut leaves, they carry them back to their underground nests and they feed them to a fungus, a symbiotic fungus that they've been growing or farming for the last 60 million years. And this fungus feeds off the leaves and it provides the ant larvae with their only source of food. So the ants are completely dependent on the fungus and the fungus is completely dependent on the ants for survival. And the problem they have is they only want to grow one type of fungus as food for their larvae, but lots of other fungi and other microbes that could cause disease also want to grow there and because there's lots of free food and it's a nice place to live. So they constantly groom their fungus garden to get rid of any disease causing or parasitic fungi. And they also grow bacteria on their bodies, bacteria called actinomycetes that are well known for producing lots of different antibiotics. And the actinomycetes are also fed by the ants and in return the actinomycete bacteria give the ants antifungal antibiotics that they use to cure any infections or diseases in their fungus gardens. Humans have been using antibiotics for about 100 years and we have huge problems now with antimicrobial resistance uh, where the bacteria and fungi that cause diseases in our bodies have actually become resistant to antibiotics. The ants have been using antibiotics for tens, possibly even 50 or 60 million years. They have no problem with resistance. So we think what they do is they recruit lots of different antibiotic producing bacteria and they use a mixture of antibiotics. And we know that in human medicine, if you use a mixture of antibiotics at the same time, it slows the evolution of resistance. So it's much harder for bacteria to become resistant to three antibiotics at the same time compared to just one antibiotic. We've discovered some very interesting molecules, including a new class of antibiotics called formicomycins. So formicai means ant. Um, so these formicomycins are very potent against so-called superbugs like methicillin-resistant Staphylococcus aureus, MRSA and vancomycin-resistant enterococci. And the most important thing for us is that we find the bacteria, the pathogenic disease-causing bacteria, don't become resistant to these antibiotics. It probably costs between half a billion and a billion dollars to get an antibiotic from this stage uh, to the clinic. And it takes probably 15 or 20 years. But without antibiotics, of course, everybody is gonna start dying from drug-resistant infections. And it's estimated that by 2050, 10 million people a year around the world will die from drug-resistant infections. And now we know that we need to be very careful with these medicines because they're life-saving, and without them, we're gonna be in big trouble. So what we wanna do in the future is have better antibiotic stewardship so we use the next generation of antibiotics much more wisely.